Okay, and then when it comes to take profit, let's first just take a look at the final take profit here. Take profit method. We also have three. One, two, three. So for this EA, you must have a stop loss, but you don't really need to have a take profit. You can choose this to none. If this is zero, that means you, you don't have take profit at all. Okay. So in this case, I am choosing, so if this is 1, that means the fixed pip take profit. This in here is 45 pips. Let's just make it 50 as well. And um, if you choose the second method, 0, 1, 2. Second method it means it's dynamically linked to stop loss. And TP, we're going to take a look at here. TP multiplier. If it is 2, that means my, and if here also choose 2, that means my take profit is always twice as much as stop loss. Let's leave these now and we'll see. See, I immediately opened a buy here. As you can see, Right now, my stop loss is, is a fixed stop loss. And also, uh, this lot size is pre predetermined because this is backtesting. This, this EA do not need to be backtested. I'm just submitting this one trade while backtesting so it, you, I can demo it for you guys. So that's one lot. And I immediately have a stop loss and take profit. Based on my criteria, as you can see, take profit is twice as much as um, as the um, stop loss. Okay, and then I have these two lines in line with words of orders opened. This determines the first take profit. This determines the second take profit. Let's just move along a little bit. See, now my first take profit is closed at a predetermined level and size. We'll take about we'll talk about that later. And also uh, after 25 pips my stop loss has moved to break even. And also uh, these take profit value after the order is open. Oh I, I did this again. Okay, one sec. You should move the center line. This could be freely uh, moved. See, because this come back again, it's just a break even hit. So this order is, is, is gone. And then I have to stop it because I only submit one order after this. There's nothing to manage. Okay. So let me just... Take a look at these, uh, take profit, um, let me just make this break even to be false. Because we want to see what's going to happen. And let, I'm going to make the trailing stop to be, instead of none, I'm choosing to use fixed. So that means I'm going to use a trailing stop. Remember, we don't want it to do break even now. As you can see, the stop loss is being pulled up by trailing stop based on your setting. And now order is, is, uh, out again. In order to, uh, for us to demo, um, partial close, I'm going to make the trailing stop to be zero. That means I am not going to use it. Although you, you can freely use it. And here, TP1 and TP2 were giving you two level of partial close possible. Okay, TP1 level, if it's 0 0.5, 0 0.25, this is to, in comparison to the final take profit. If the final take profit level is 1, this is like 25% of the distance. TP2 level is 0 0.5 means it's 50% of the distance. Okay, and here, uh, TP1 size is like 25% of the, 
of the original lot, whatever that lot is for that particular order. Okay, and TP2 size, see here I'm using 1. Obviously that cannot be true because I already take profit at 25% here. The maximum you can take profit is 75% here. Okay, but even if I put it 1, it's still okay. UEA will automatically adjust. And imagine if you put 1 here, so by the time we reach the first take profit, the trade is already being exit. So these does not even matter. But what makes sense, what, what makes most sense, let's just take partially. Let's take partially of this as well. So you can actually choose by setting the sum of those to zero, you can actually choose how many partial codes I want and how much I'm going to partial code it. So here, remember I'm not using any of the take profit and, and break even or trailing stop. So initial stop loss won't move. Now it's being stopped out. Let me just, I wanted to show you the both partial close. Let me just use stop loss to be 2, ATR, and ATR ratio, let's just say 3. I really have no idea how much that will be. This looks a bit further. See, now stop loss is being further because I changed my stop loss method. And also, my take profit is further as well because I have told my EA my take profit will be twice as much as my stop loss. And this is as 20, 25% of the entire take profit. This is as 50% of the entire take profit. Now, because I'm not using trailing stop, so I so far I have not take out, uh, have not stop out before. Now I have one, two, three steps, and this trade is completely exit now. Okay, so this is a very uh, comprehensive trade management, and it can manage uh, certain trades you want to choose either if either all of the trades or under certain. A magic number. If magic number is zero, that means manual trade. Okay. And there's uh, a lot of options you can explore. So basically, in my view, this basically satisfies um, everybody's needs in terms of uh, order management.